Hi everyone, Daniel Ranella, Ranella Prosthetics and Orthotics. We're gonna be talking about pin locking liners or a pin prosthetic and what that really means. So if you are new to prosthetics and you wanna learn a little bit more, so a pin is the, it's not very long, this pin that we're talking about, and it's connected to the bottom of a gel liner. So the gel liner is usually what goes on your leg first. That is a soft material that can provide some shock absorption, so that's good, okay? And it also holds on to someone's residual limb. So pin part of this is, is located at the bottom, okay? In medical speak, it's the, the distal end of the liner, which just means the very bottom. Somehow this liner that you wear first has to connect into a lock. And you don't have to think about all that. It just kind of happens mechanically. So that's good. And there's these different kinds of connections. What you need next in, in this process is the socket. So the socket houses a locking mechanism and the pin and the lock go hand in hand, okay? So you'll hear verbal click, 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 sound as you go down into a prosthesis once you get it back once it's made once you put it on whether it is a check socket or a laminated socket they can both have it okay and so you go down inside of this and you connect through the rest of the system okay you could call it that with this pin so the pin is connected to the gel liner and the pin is now connected to the locking mechanism for the rest of the prosthesis. And now it's all kind of connected to you better than without some sort of mechanism to help hold it all together. So the pin is usually about an inch, something like that. I mean, they make them a little longer if you wanted, but it goes down, you'll hear this, this click. You'll hear more than one clicking sound as you go down into it. And some people really like that. They feel comfortable with knowing, okay, now I have my prosthesis on. Now I'm down inside of this prosthesis. So I feel better. I feel more confident about using it. Okay. So that has value. It doesn't mean that other options um, don't work. They, they do work. Other options like a lanyard, you can see another video we have on a lanyard style. But the image we're showing you here, we're trying to illustrate the point of coming down into a prosthesis and making it something that you can use. So you have to really have to roll on these gel liners onto your leg first and then it clicks down into the socket. It's hard to do it all at once. You can't really roll something up your leg when it's housed inside of a, a plastic shell that's meant to hold your residual limb. So I hope that helped you. Short video for that. Kind of just general instructions on it. It'll give you a clue of what you're getting into with a, with a gel liner and a pin locking a prosthesis. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know. Happy to answer those. Send us all your questions on prosthetics. If you have questions on orthotics too, like AFO braces or back braces or whatever it is, let us know. Thanks a lot for watching.